What's going on YouTube? This is Chris Rudnick and today this is my garage. As you can see, I just bought a 180SX. Just kidding, that's Marcus. This is what I really got, ready? So I'm pretty sure this is a 2012 KLX. Um, I actually don't even know. I kind of just bought it. It was in Trevor's shop and like, I heard he never wrote it. So I'm like, yo, can I buy this? And at first he was really hesitant. If, if you ever try to buy something from Trevor from Motion Auto, this is gonna fall. If you guys ever ask Trevor to buy something from him, be ready for a lot of hesitation because he doesn't like to sell a lot of stuff. Trevor, if you're watching this, you're kind of a hoarder. But I'm really stoked on this. I've wanted a dirt bike for like so long and like I've never really found the point of buying it and I still don't really find a point of buying it, but I figured since I have all of this yard, which you can't see, I'm kind of just looking at, hold on. Since I have all of this land in my yard, I figured, why not buy a fucking dirt bike? So it wouldn't be Chris Rodnock if I bought a dirt bike and it was completely okay, so. I bought a dirt bike with a flat tire and I didn't know it had a flat tire and so, until I was riding it around yesterday and I went to go turn and I kind of drifted and almost crashed a little, but alive, the dirt bike's alive, it still runs as you can see. Look at this, this thing is minty. You ready for this? First kick. can restart if you know what I mean but you can't be a dirt bike owner without this ready so this baby was on clearance right here I'm official dirt bike rider now check me out I figured since I had to go buy a tube anyways right here I was like why not this thing's on clearance I might as well buy it so we got this tube we got this shirt now we need to figure out how to change this tube I don't really know how to do it Trevor says it's easy but that means it's probably gonna be a nightmare so I was gonna say let's get this thing on the lift, but I can't put it on the lift. Get it on the bucket. I can't believe the bucket idea actually works. So we got the dirt bike on a bucket. It's crazy to think I've never really worked on a dirt bike before. So I'm kind of lost at this. I mean, I guess it's just changing like a bike tire. Other than there's like some extra tensioners. All right. Whoa. All right, so step one, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take this brake lever arm off. Nice good old 14 mil here. I feel like a dirt bike rider already. Pull it out? Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, Jesus Christ, Chris, okay. Now I need to get this axle nut off, which is bucket 22. I can't believe I have this at the house. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's just gonna fall off the bucket. Oh, shit, that was loose. I got a fucking huge ass ratchet and all. Oh, wait, is the back spinning? No, it's not. Oh, so far, so good. This is going fucking... Oh, it is spinning. Oh, they're dicks. This ain't going bad, I'm not gonna lie. Wheels already getting loose, right? This thing's about to come off, that wasn't bad. Maybe Trevor was right. All right, so I think we're just gonna loosen this right here. And that should let me pop it off this blind thing. It's a pretty cool setup, I guess. All right, you gonna come off though? Hell yeah, you are. Can this hub spin? Hell yeah, I can. Oh, ho, ho! all right. So now I think, oh, the chain's still hooked up, damn it. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this axle nut off now. All right, so we got the good old Milwaukee gun here. Hopefully this will take my axle nut off. Okay, it's going more in. Yeah. Okay, grab a handy dandy wrench, put it over this and pull. Yeah! Oh yeah! All right, so the axle's out. Um, now we should be able to take this chain off here. And then, as you can see, what the fuck? That part wasn't in the video. Yeah, I looked up a video to do this, by the way. Shout out 2019. Yeah, so those are come out, I guess. Great. Oh, that's your brakes. Those are your drums. That's kind of sick. You learn something new every day. This one. Oh my god, there's fucking. What are these weights? These are like clutch weights. Oh, how does this go back in? Shit. All right, don't fuck around with that, Chris. Put that back in. So I guess that's supposed to come out, so it's all right. Now, I don't have... Oh, my God, this is a sturdy... Courtney, how am I going to do this? This is a sturdy-ass tire. With normal bike tires, I literally just kind of fold it over with my hand. But it doesn't seem like I'm doing that today. <sighs> fuck. So if you see that guy right there, his name is Neighbor Charlie. Never met him a day in my life. Um, I was just taking the tire off and he came to, I guess, say hello. And I was in the middle of taking the tire off and he was like, hey, put it here or whatever the hell he said. And he ended up taking the whole tire off for me and putting the tube back in. And now he's going to pump it up for me because I don't have an air compressor here. So shout out neighbor Charlie. First day I met him, I didn't even know his name until he finished doing the tires. Like, by the way, my name's Charlie. I'm like, Chris. So he'll be back and then we will have a fresh tube. 
on the nice KLX and we should be ready to rip, but we're kind of running out of daylight. So ripping might be tomorrow, but pretty much like right now for you guys anyway, so it doesn't matter for you. All right guys, so it is the next day. Neighbor Charlie, he really came in clutch because honestly, I had no idea what I was gonna do to get this tire off. Yes, you can use two flathead screwdrivers, but at the end of the day, it would have been a nightmare. I'm just happy he came, I mean, he helped me out and then he pumped it up with his air compressor. Sadly, it was a little too dark to rip it last night. So, today, before I even get into talking, before we even explain what's going on here, I wanna see how fast this thing is topped out. I wanna know how fast the bike actually is. So let's go ahead, let's go on the road and top this beast out. All right, guys, here we go in three, two, oh, Jesus, one. So this is the start of the rod knock racetrack, right? You start on my driveway and then you just... Alright, so a whopping like 40, 42 miles per hour, I really don't know until I go back to the footage, but I mean, not too bad for a 110. I mean, this is, I would kind of put this as a kid's bike, but I personally like the smaller bikes, one, because I'm not a rider. Like, at the end of the day, like, I haven't ridden a dirt bike, ser like, never seriously, but, like, actually ridden a dirt bike since I was, like, 12. So having this, it's kind of fun. I can just really do whatever I want and I can just have fun around my yard. Now we're gonna go take a trip around the Rod Knock racetrack. And like I said, I'm not the best rider out there. So judge me if you want, but we're, we're gonna get better as time goes on. So let's hit it. Follow the path, I guess, even though there is no path. Here we go. All right, we take off. Shift in the second. We go around here. Two of these trees right here. So now you saw that fiasco. You guys ready for this? We're about to build a jump. I went to Home Depot last night. Guys, I figured it was dark. I might as well go get some wood and prep for today. So here we have some two by fours. We got some plywood. We got more two by fours over there. Never built a jump in my life, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna send it. Here we go. So today we're not gonna be making a curved ramp. We're gonna be kind of making a flat ramp like this just cause it's easier and it's gonna save us some time. Yes, we're not gonna catch as much air, but I'm a new dirt bike rider. I don't need too much air. I just wanna start off easy, you know? So I think. The ramp is gonna be about this high, so I'm just gonna cut it right here. That was the ghettoest thing in the fucking world. I didn't even check my blade depth or anything. All right, so we're just gonna cut this one the same length here. Now I do ask you not to take this ramp seriously because I am kind of, I am definitely half-assing this whole process, but he's gonna work. I know it's gonna work. I got full confidence that this is gonna work. Here we go, cut this piece right now. Wow, same size, what do you know? Hell yeah. All right, so now, we're just gonna simply lay these two out like this. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this in the camera. Just like so, this is gonna be my ramp setup. This is how big my ramp is actually gonna be. Let me make sure you can see this. So now that I'm looking at the ramp, it might be a little too big, but we already cut our pieces, so we're just gonna send it anyways. All right, we need a tape measure. Okay, so now we got our runners here. Now we need to make the actual like size of the ramp. So we need to cut a two by four, approximately 33 inches. We need two of those. Let's get the cutting. Now, if you can see this, it is approximately 33. I mean, we're a 16th off, but who's judging? All right, so we need one more piece of this. Oh my God, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, we're all half a 16th off, I think, but that's fine because it's just going into here anyways. Now, we're gonna bust out the drill and we're gonna start to make this thing. So by now, you're probably asking yourself, what the fuck is this guy doing? And the answer is, I don't know. 
All right, and just like that, we have our first leg. The further I go with this project, the more nervous I'm getting, but whatever, fuck them. All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then we can start the next process. All right, y'all, so this puppy's coming along right now, so we got it standing. This is, this is a big improvement right now. This jump is fucking huge. Courtney's actually coming out here and helping me right now just to place everything. And she does, she's like, it's not that big. And some of you are probably gonna be like, dude, it's not that big at all. But on a 110 with stock suspension and everything, I don't even know if it's gonna hold. I don't even know if my ramp's gonna hold. So there's, there's a lot of factors here. I'm just gonna keep on making support. So what I need to do is, this is 33 inches. I'm gonna put one right here, here, down, and then I'm gonna make runners all the way down. And then I'm gonna put the sheet of plywood up, cut it to length, and we should be good to roll. Like I said, I'm really fucking nervous, but I'm just gonna bang this out real quick and then I will film when it's done. Shit, this thing's like crooked and shit. Oh, it's a bad idea. All right guys, progress update. Not gonna lie, I'm really fucking nervous to hit this thing. Thank God I have a bike here because I'm gonna definitely hit it with a bike before a dirt bike because I'm not used to riding dirt bikes. So we got all our runners to, so the plywood doesn't snap in half while we're running it. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I already cut the plywood and everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the sheet all the way down and start to drill it in. The final product is done and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pussy. I'm not Travis Pastrana. I don't know who the fuck I thought I was, but I don't know if I can do this. Look how intimidating this thing looks. This thing is so fucking big. Like, why did I have to go so big my first ramp? And like, I, I didn't have enough wood to support this side right here, but I did support this one. I didn't know if you were supposed to go inside or outside, so I kind of just went inside. But it's not that sturdy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. For my first ramp, I don't think it's that bad, but it's definitely way too big for a first ramp. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit this with my bike real quick. I thought it would be a good idea to kind of gap into the slope, but if you look at it from far, it looks absolutely terrifying. Like, it looks like you're just jumping into nothing. I'm gonna grab Marks's bike real quick. So at first, I was pretty proud of my work. Like, I was like, you know, my first jump, this ain't too bad. Now I'm looking at it, I'm like, Chris, what the hell did you do to yourself? Like, I don't wanna hit this. I hope you guys know that. I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to do it on the bike. If it feels all right and I feel confident enough, I might do it on the dirt bike. How'd that look? It looked good. Too bad, I can't breathe. It's so much better. I had a cocky Chris coming. <laughs> <laughs> this thing wouldn't be so bad if you don't have to pedal so hard. You think it's doable on the dirt, dirt bike? I don't know. I don't either. Oh. All right guys, so whatever happens now, this video is going up no matter what. I just want you guys to know, I've loved making content for you guys. It's been a blast all these years. Thank you for following my channel and everything, but I'm afraid this might be the end, Courtney. Are you saying goodbye to them or me? Everyone. Or both? Anything can happen off this sketchy jump. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely terrified. I'm terrified of wheeling back because it's pretty fucking steep. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. But I built it. There's only one way to test it. Can you do it? No. How bad could it be, really? What an idiot I am. I didn't push in the clutch. That's how fucking nervous I am. I don't know about this, Courtney. <laughs> Did that look scary? <laughs> Did it look like I just pushed out? <laughs> I looked fine? What? That whole thing was a mess. I know, but... What was that? <laughs> Courtney, I'm scared. I know. I don't do shit like this. <laughs> I don't know. Go drink something. Drink something? Yeah. Like what? Something to calm the nerves. Oh. Give you a little confidence boost. Oh great, I broke it. No way! <laughs> I'm gonna die on this thing, Courtney. That was halfway up and I flew back. 
All right, then don't do it. I wish Marcus was here. He used to race Supercross. Wait for him to come back. Marcus will, won't give a fuck. He'll be like, give me a stink, dude. You're a pussy. Yo. What's up? When are you going to be home? I don't know. In a little while. India is supposed to be bringing my car to the shop so I can fix the window, but I don't know if they're bringing it. You should get home before it gets dark because I built a jump way too big and I'm too scared to hit it and I need you to hit it. Why? Because I've ridden a dirt bike before? Yeah, you used to race them, so if you're scared, then at least it doesn't look as bad as if I'm scared. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, okay. It's way too big and way too steep. You're down? Uh, yeah, I'm down. All right, we'll try to get here as soon as you can. Okay. All right, bye. All right, so the real Marcus Parks is here. What did you just say as you came in? Looking at this ramp, and I'm like... You're second-guessing yourself now, huh? I'm gonna hit it. I'm just like... <laughs> What is that? Dude, I've never built a ramp in my life. I didn't think it came out that bad. I I know I overbuilt it for sure. It is a little is it rickety. rickety it, no, it's rickety. Yeah, I mean, it's... If it, I hit it with speed, am I going to go through it? No, no, no. It's good that way, but it's like it will wobble here and there. Okay. I hit it with your bike, and I almost 180'd it. I just fell. But I'm not a dirt bike rider, dude. I can't do it. I thought I had it in me, and I really don't. I'm terrified. I, mean, I went off the edge, like on the side. And I did like a wheelie and almost died. <laughs> what do you think, dude? Well, number one, where's the sh where's the shovel? We can actually fix fix this like right now. Oh, you're gonna ruin the lawn? I was thinking about caring for the lawn. I guess not. Fuck it, get the shovel. All right, Marcus Parks, how you feeling right now? I mean, we're just gonna send it. You're just gonna send it, huh? Yeah. You're not nervous. I mean, yeah. But... You should buckle that up, dude. You're going. You're about to go on a hell ride. I really hope Marcus does it. I'm going to look like a bitch, and I am a bitch. I don't ride these things, okay? I thought I did, but I don't. The only thing that's sketchy is that it's not even like... To me, it's not really the ramp. The ramp is sketchy enough, but <laughs> it's just the ground. Everything here is sand, and like dirt bikes don't really handle all that well in sand. Well, it's all grass right there, so you should be fine. Okay. Here, let's get one more good angle on the GoPro here. All right, man. You're live. I'm going to go move your shovel, and you have fun, my friend. I wish you the best. Marcus says he's going to clear it to flat, so we'll see how that goes. Here we go, is Marcus Parks. Supercross champion! Here he goes! Oh! That's what I was terrified of. That's why I didn't hit it. <laughs> Do a backflip, dude. Well, he says it wasn't that bad, so he's, I guess he's going for it again. I don't really know. That looked terrifying to me. After that, I'd be done for sure. I'm not hitting this thing. Throwing it out there right now. I'm not hitting it. Another 10,000 likes, we'll talk about it, but I can't even promise then because dirt biking is not my thing. Here we go. Just sending it. Oh my God, he's humming. Oh! <laughs> Woo! So when I first got the dirt bike, I expected to build a jump like right here and clear this whole flat into that bank over there. I don't know what I was thinking with a 110 and zero skill level on a dirt bike, but now I see this and I'm like, yeah, I don't have skill. You want to go deeper, dude? You got yourself a slow dirt bike, my friend. Hey, I mean, it worked though. Did it bottom out? I mean, it just hurts your feet. It does? It? <laughs> yeah, pegs are not meant for this. Dude, I say just go balls to the wall and fucking sand her. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't think he was going to listen to me. Well guys, everyone go subscribe to Marcus's channel for saving this video because I was totally going to upload it without anyone hitting this jump. So, big shout out to Marcus, here we go! Woo! Oh shit! Woo! <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. After watching that, I don't want to hit it. You got a good 10 feet, though. It's not bad. Well, guys, I think we're going to end it on that now. If you want to see me build a smaller jump and, like, try to make this, like, super cross track for real. smaller jump. You well, just need to sink that into the ground. Because right now, all it's doing is it's doing this. Yeah. It's like uh, the stunt ramps, where it just sends you up. Mm -hmm. You need one that's going to launch you. Yeah, no, that, that, it was being built for that, but it kind of didn't work out. I yeah. should have made it a little less steep. Yeah, honestly, all you could probably do is just take the, the legs, cut them a little bit, and then 
screw them back down. It should be good. Well, if you guys want to see more of that, definitely leave down in the comments. Other than that, I think we're either going to do some GTR content or some Civic content tomorrow because the dirt bike's a lot more scary than I anticipate. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Don't forget to go to this man's channel for saving the video. Peace out.